Good evening and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of July 22nd, 2014. Ms. Borak, please call the roll. Committeeman Delcor? Here. Committeeman McCauley? Here. Committeeman Sirachi? Here. Deputy Mayor Burchette? Mayor Thompson? Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. <coughs> Okay, please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Publics Meeting Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made by the posting of the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on July 22, 2014. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, ask for a moment of silence uh, for the victims and families and friends of those uh, who perished in the, uh, the senseless tragedy of the Malaysian Flight 17 that was brought down over Ukraine. Uh, Hillsborough offers our sincere condolences to all those impacted by this. Uh, so again, if you could please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Uh, and now continuing on with our meeting. First up, we have approval of the May 27, 2014 regular session minutes. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of May 27, 2014? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Commandman Delcor? Yes. Commandman McCauley? Yes. Commandman Sirachi? Stain. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Approval of the May 27, 2014 executive session minutes. May I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Second. Roll call. Commander Delcor? Yes. Commander McCauley? Yes. Commander Sirachi? Stain. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Okay, moving on to reports from committee liaisons and receipts of reports, petitions, or other communications. First up is Committee Delcor. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first up, uh, everyone should have received their third quarter estimated tax bills, which were mailed on July the 7th. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the uh, senior group B for helping us stuff those uh, those envelopes. They did about 15,000 of them in, in a little less than two hours. So uh, it's always nice to get that volunteer support from from our seniors to help us do that. Um, it does save the township quite a bit of, uh, of money to, to be able to do that. So uh, the bills are out. Um, those are the estimated bills. So uh, you, should, you should have received them. If you didn't, please uh, reach out to our um, our uh, tax collector's office here in the municipal building. Uh, also, regarding uh, taxes, you may have seen, we talked about it, I believe I raised this last month, that the homestead rebate for, uh, for the year 2014 has now been deferred. It was originally uh, expected to be paid out uh, in the third quarter uh, by the state. It now appears that that will be deferred until May of next year. Um, so if you were expecting that uh, in your tax bill, please note that uh, you will not, uh, it will not be, uh, um, you will not be receiving that in Q3 unless uh, something changes with the budget and the legislature uh, to, uh, to go ahead and, and adjust that. So uh, right now, our indications are that uh, that will be now paid out in May of 2015. So I just want to make sure everyone was, was clear on that as it relates to their uh, their current, uh, their current tax bills. Um, so enough on finance. Uh, from the cultural arts group, um, we're going to be having our uh, sixth annual music festival on Saturday, August the 9th. Uh, the Cultural Arts Commission, along with the Allegra School of Music and Arts, are co-sponsoring the event. It's going to be held at the Hillsborough Promenade uh, in the parking lot behind uh, the Affinity Credit Union and Applebee's back in there um, run from 2 to 10 and uh, I think we'll have around somewhere around 18 or 20 different bands or performers uh, that will uh, perform at the event uh, the the proceeds uh, from a number of vendors and uh, people that are, are contributing sponsors uh, will have will go to Borough Safe and the Jonah Johnson Youth Scholarship Fund both of which are um, our suicide awareness.
programs. And uh, we've, we've had a tremendous epidemic of, of uh, suicide, not only that's affected our township, but really uh, across the state and uh, across, the, across the country. So it's a very worthy cause to get, uh, to get, to get word out there. Um, so anyone that would like to go out, it is a really nice event. Uh, we've got great performers. Uh, we'll have a number of vendors out there. There'll be some rides um, and crafts for, for, for the kids. And um, of course, uh, there'll be a number of food vendors as well. So there's additional information if you're, if you're interested at hillsboroughmusicfestival.org. And uh, there are volunteer opportunities available as well. And if you would like to uh, help um, in a volunteer effort at the event, you could reach out to Yuri Martyr at the Allegra School of Music, and that's at Yuri, U Y U R I, at Allegra SMA.com. So, uh, anyone interested in supporting, uh, please, uh, please reach out to Yuri at the Allegra School of Music and Arts. Uh, since Deputy Mayor is not here, I've got a couple of uh, notes uh, from him that uh, he asked me to uh, take care of for him this evening. Uh, first of all, he's, um, it's a busy time right now in our building department, in particular around uh, pools, not necessarily uh, in-grounds, but uh, any temporary pools that people put in for the summer. Please note that if you do put in a uh, pool that's uh, either an inflatable or one that's disassembled, that can be disassembled at the end of the year and then reassembled next year, that still does need a permit. Um, we went through a process last year where we reduced that permit fee down to uh, $40 annually and we waived any zoning fees for these temporary or seasonal pools that are less than four feet in depth but they do still require a permit and uh, any pools that have uh, that are less than 48 inches uh, would require a barrier designed to, uh, to restrict access and then uh, finally just so everyone's clear we do have uh, cleanup coupons available still for our, uh, our dump days so anyone uh, that's interested in a, a cleanup coupon uh, they were run the first and last Saturdays uh, at the dump each month. You can reach out to our Department of Public Works on East Mountain Road or the administration office here uh, in the municipal building to get two pods for the, uh, for the dump process. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> Committee Woman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. A few things this evening. I just wanted to first uh, thank Senior Group A. We have a couple of hundred, I think, seniors in this group. We have several groups. Um, it was our 40th anniversary of this group last Saturday, and both the mayor and myself attended. The mayor gave them a nice proclamation. They were always a lot of fun and, and very happy to see the mayor and give them a proclamation as well. So it's always fun to see the seniors out there. I wanted to thank them for the invitation and the uh, opportunity to be there with them. Also, from the Office of Emergency Management this evening, we wanted the public to be aware that we do have a um, site called Register Ready. It's a special needs registry designed to help those folks um, that cannot get out in a state of emergency. Um, it's to help the responders and our um, uh, emergency responders to get out there and safely evacuate those who may need that. You can go online and register to www.registerready.nj.gov, or you can dial 211, which is toll free or by obtaining forms here at the Township Emergency Management Office, which is located at the Police Department Headquarters, or from our Social Services Department here as well. We just wanted to say that the, uh, we are very serious about keeping our residents safe. We do have some flooding and some of those uh, storms that we've had in the past several years, and we wanted to make sure that everyone registered so we can get them out safely. And that's it for me this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Sirachi. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. A few items this evening. Uh, first, I know we uh, just got over with uh, the uh, World Cup, but uh, good time to announce that uh, we have registration open for our fall soccer leagues, uh, very similar to our spring uh, program, that um, we have leagues for uh, children entering kindergarten through 12th grade. There's also a Pee Wee soccer program for children ages three and four. Games are typically held on Saturdays with a weekly practice for grades three through 12. Um, the registration is already, as I said, ongoing and it goes through August 10th and the season starts September 13th. Uh, additional information on the, so on the full soccer and, and the ability to register online is on, at the Parks and Rec website. 
a couple of events coming up at Ann Van Middlesworth Park, um, both on August 1st. First up is the annual camp out. Uh, we can bring your family, your tent, and uh, join everyone for a night under the stars. Uh, some of the events will be fishing, a night hike, kickball games, and there will be a DJ uh, for entertainment. Uh, there is a pre-registration that is required, and the cost is uh, $5 per person uh, without dinner and $10 per person if you'd like to uh, have dinner included. And uh, as I said, also on August 1st at Ann Van Middlesworth Park, our annual fishing derby for children 14 and under. Um, they do need to be accompanied by an adult. Uh, there will be prizes based on the uh, size or the largest fish that are caught in each group. Uh, also, pre-registration is required, and uh, the cost for that event is $4 per child. And coming up in September, specifically September 24th, Hillsboro will be hosting its first Senior Olympics. Um, it will be held, uh, again, at Ann Van Middlesworth Park from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on September 24th with a rain date of October 1st. Uh, the <clears throat> this event is open to all uh, Hillsborough senior citizens. Some of the events that will be going on or uh, that um, will be taking place will be a softball pitch, bean, ball, bean bag toss, uh, there'll be basketball games. So I have a feeling our first aid squad will be uh, on hand. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there'll be a rounds of bocce ball and horseshoes. Uh, medals will be awarded to the winners of each of those uh, competitions. Also, uh, if you don't feel like bringing your own lunch, uh, there is available at $8 per person a barbecue lunch. Um, Pre-registration for that lunch and also, of course, the, uh, the Olympics, the, uh, the events, uh, is required. And seniors are urged to contact either our recreation department at 369-4832 or social services at 369-3880. So uh, looking forward to that, Mayor. Hopefully you'll be there too. I'm sure, certainly will be. All right, they'll be running the, the torch, right? Joe's <laughs> yes. To, uh, make huh? an appearance. I said I think the average Joe's needs to make an appearance. The average Joe's, uh, that's true. <laughs> then we definitely need the rescue squad. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have, Mayor, thank you. Thank you, Commitment. Um, a few things from me this evening. Uh, first up, with the fireworks, I just want to thank our DPW and rec department for putting on uh, a great community event and also thank you to the rescue squad the fire departments uh the police department and also the fire bureau for making sure it was a safe night for everybody it was a great event um, i love being there and i know my whole family had a great time so thank you to everyone who helped pull that off i uh, also want to mention uh a couple weeks ago i was able to go before the boy scout troop 89 they had an event where they have to bring in a, a township leadership and they, uh, they certainly grilled me with a ton of questions. And we had a great time uh, hearing all of their concerns. Uh, I think they had some of the toughest questions I've got since I've been in this seat. So it was a really great event to see them uh, study up and ask all the questions about the township. Also want to mention, uh, not sure if you've been on the Beyond the Bypass recently, but uh, the new signs have officially been designated and they're up. Uh, it's really a great sign. And again, those signs were provided uh, at no charge to township residents. They were community donations that were given uh, to pay for those signs. So if you do have a chance to go on the road, uh, take a look, because uh, they're, they're pretty nice signs. Also want to thank the Sourland Music Festival and the uh, Sourland Conservancy for having me at their event the other day. Uh, we were able to kick it off at the Hillsborough Country Club up on Wartsville Road. It's a great event that raised funds for protecting the Sourlands and keeping uh, that community jewel of ours uh, a safe place. So I want to thank them for allowing me to come out and uh, get that event started. Also coming up, Hillsborough Township will be designating as a Purple Heart community on August 7th at our Purple Heart Commemoration Program. The ceremony will begin at 6.30 p.m. at the Garden of Honor with light refreshments uh, to be served following the ceremony and a signed dedication. All Hillsborough veterans are invited to attend and uh, we will present a proclamation at the August 12th Township Committee meeting to the Military Order of the Purple Heart for this designation. Also new event, uh, new thing to mention, the Hillsborough Township uh, will have a new wall calendar is coming back. It will feature local photography. This printed calendar will be mailed out in December at no cost to our taxpayers, but will be funded through advertisements contained within that wall calendar. Also want to give a quick shout out to the Hillsborough Hustle U12 team for taking third place at the World Series this past weekend in Maryland. 
uh, for the USSA, uh, recognizing them with their sportsmanship award. Uh, the ladies there uh, did a, made very, Hillsborough very proud, and I want to congratulate them on a great season and, uh, and representing us so well down in Maryland at the World Series. That concludes my comments for this evening, so I'm going to be moving on to presentations and proclamations. We ask that after you receive your recognition, uh, you resume your seat, and at the conclusion of the presentations and proclamations that you uh, pause to allow, we will pause to allow for your departure, but please stick around so you can hear everyone uh, receive their uh, different proclamations. First up is a presentation recognizing the Hillsborough businesses and organizations that have served our community for over 25 years. Uh, this, evening, this evening, we will continue with our business recognition program, recognizing Hillsborough businesses and organizations that have served citizens of Hillsborough Township for over 25 years. As I mentioned last month, when we started this recognition program, the vitality of our community is based upon multiple factors, one of which is the composition of the business and nonprofit organizations that call Hillsborough Township home. That being said, first up this evening, we have Paul M. Nolan Sons Incorporated. So uh, if that group could come forward right now. Real quick, uh, Paul M. Nolan Sons is a third generation Hillsborough plumbing and electrical company that has been serving the residents and businesses of Hillsborough Township for over 35 years. So I don't know if you guys want to say a quick couple of words about your business. <laughs> don't be shy. Yeah, right. uh, thank everybody in the community for helping us get here for 75 years. And thanks to my son for taking over to next generation my father for starting the business my daughter for helping me with the paperwork my, mo my mother my mother too yeah. <laughs> and for my wife for help staying with me and my good partner mike silverman has been with me for i don't know how many years mike 30. <laughs> uh, thank, thank everybody okay thank you. Okay, next up we have Hillsboro Baseball League. So a couple things about the Hillsboro Baseball League. They've served Hillsboro Township since 1955. Uh, they obviously, they offer recreational programs in the spring, summer, and fall, uh, as well as competitive travel league. And they also have the Buddy League, which provides a league for the mentally and physically challenged youth for our township. Uh, and as a very proud, uh, I don't know if it's a graduate or a former player for, for the league, uh, I thank you because I got some of the best memories uh, with my dad when he was a manager. So uh, I appreciate everything your league's done for us uh, for the last 59 years. So I don't know if you guys have anything to add or talk about that. Just. Uh you know, thank you very much to you, you know, for the support that you give us. You know, I see some kids in the back who are graduates of our league, so it's kind of <laughs> exciting to you know, be here at the same time as them. Uh, we appreciate, you know, the support of the people of the town and of yourself, so, and, and, and the whole committee. So thank you again. I think this is really nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, and last but certainly not least, uh, Frank D. Valchek, School Bus Transportation. Frank, if you could come up. So a couple things uh, as they come forward. Uh, they've been in Hillsborough since 1963, and Frank became an owner in 1980, and they received the Gold Merit Award from the New Jersey School Bus Association for Excellence of Service, Safety, and Community Responsibilities. So Frank, here's a small thank you for your 51 years of running the company, or being with the company, and if you could just say a couple, couple It's just been a pleasure working in this town all these years, and it's a pleasure that I'm as old as the Hillsboro Township Police Department. We're both Moving on to proclamations this evening, if I could have the uh, 2014 Hillsborough High School Raiders varsity baseball team come up. Whereas the 2014 Hillsborough High School Raiders varsity baseball team completed their season with a 15-8 record, and whereas the 2014 Hillsborough High School Raiders varsity baseball team won the 42nd Somerset County Championship and the New Jersey Group 4 North 2 Sectional Championships, and whereas the 2014 varsity baseball team consists of the following 25 young men in grades 10 through 12. Now you get to say your name. Phil Sepatina. Jeff Cern. Mike R. Asher Masson. John Lorenz. Kyle Kaminsky. Andrew Zaitel. Eric Plekio. Garrett Ruoff. Kyle Sluka. Eric Sickert. Coach Steve Barrett. And whereas the 2014 varsity baseball team is coached by head coach Norm Hewitt, assistant varsity coach Eric Eden, Rob. Exactly. <laughs> Steve Barrett, Frank Quadriano, and Tim Zavicki? Zavicki. All right. And whereas the varsity stat statistician is Scott. Okay, now you guys are joking with me. <laughs> His Stovic. <laughs> athletic trainers are Mike Schiffman and Amanda Truscott, and athletic directors are Mike Vanzini and Pat Scarpelio. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, to hereby commend the Hillsborough High School varsity baseball team, the coaches, the parents, and the athletic department, not only for their victories, but for their hard work, dedication, and commitment to the sport and to those principles of good sportsmanship, teamwork, and academic achievement, which is endorsed by the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Associations. Be further proclaimed that we, the members of the Township Committee, commend the Hillsborough High School varsity baseball team for the honor that they have brought to themselves, their team, and our community through their many achievements. Congratulations, team.
All the time. Mayor, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for this recognition, the outstanding hard work and effort of these young gentlemen. Our tenant of our program is pride, tradition, and respect. And these gentlemen are real good examples of all that stuff, and they, they really want to, uh, they've really shown that in their effort and the way they carry themselves in the community. Thank you very much. Okay, and next up are the Hillsborough High School Robo Raiders. If you guys can come forward. Whereas the 2014 Hillsborough High School Robo Raiders participated in a program called FIRST for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, and whereas the 2014 Hillsborough High School Robo Raiders competed at two district events at Mount Olive High School and Bridgewater Raritan High School, and where they were selected to participate in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Competition at Lehigh University and qualified to go to St. Louis, and whereas the 2014 Robo Raiders Team 75 was awarded the Engineering Inspiration Award and won the robot portion of the competition, taking home the Champions Award and the Chairman's Award, which is the most prestigious award given at the competitions by the first robot robotics program. And whereas the 2014 Robo Raiders was led by student leaders, team president, Zhang Tong, and the non-technical vice president, Dari Shah. And then I'm gonna let you guys announce yourselves for the rest of them. Sean Prosky. Matt Mann. Brad Glutch. Albert Liu. Matthew Demetrius. Harsh Agarwal. Pranesh Prabhu. Adam Zolove. Brian Francis. Nicholas Bellamy. Evan Galovich. Sean O'Callaghan. Alexander Pavel. Robert Hoffman. Mauricio Guerrero Nieto. Michael Clenty. John Hoffman. And whereas the teacher advisors are Ms. D'Onofrio and Mrs. O'Neill, and the parent group leaders are Jolene Galovich and Pat Glutch. Now therefore, be proclaimed that we, the mayor and the township committee of the township of Hillsborough, do hereby commend the Hillsborough High School Robo Raiders not only for their success in several competitions, but for their hard work and dedication in creating award-winning robots and having a strong passion for their love of robotics. Be it further proclaimed that we, the members of the Hillsborough Township Committee, commend the Hillsborough High School Robo Raiders Team 75 for their commitment in creative award-winning robots. Congratulations, team.
That is a big team, I know. Okay. Thank you all for being here this evening, and congratulations once again to our uh, to everyone uh, for being recognized and our business leaders for being recognized. At this time, we'll take a brief break, and I will not be offended if you'd like to leave at this time. So, thank you, everybody. I don't. I don't. For whatever bizarre reason, I need to the microphone. Irish skin still doesn't burn. So. Okay. Mayor, let the reflect that let the record reflect that um, Deputy Mayor Burchette has now joined the meeting. I want to meet you. I've been here this time for more than 45 years. I've been here for more than 45 years. I'm pleasure to meet you. Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. Do you want a picture? Oh, have a great evening. Hold on. I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture. I'll catch everything. Hold on. I'll call the senior cast. Or can we get uh, something for the record? Um, Mayor, let the record reflect that Deputy Mayor Bruchette has joined the meeting. Thank you. Uh, moving on to appointments this evening, we have a few mayoral appointments. Uh, first, I'll be accepting the designation of Todd Rashawn. Start that over. Uh, we have a couple appointments uh, this evening, uh, mayoral appointments. Uh, first, I'll be accepting the resignation of Todd Mershon from the planning board seat number five and, and appointing Dr. Dan Maroli to seat five, filling the unexpired term ending 12 31 14. I will also be appointing uh, Rob Peason to the planning board, alternate one, class four, for the term ending 12 31 14. And I'll also be accepting the resignation of Sean LePanny from the Board of Adjustment, seat number seven, and appointing him to the planning board, alternate number two, class four, for the term ending 12 31 2014. There being no new business e this evening, so we'll be moving on to public comments on new business and matters not on the agenda. First up. I'm real lonely in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is uh, John Anderson with Jersey Central Power and Light. Um, as promised, I, I said I would stop by periodically uh, when um, I had updates or things to share with you. And uh, a couple of things. Uh, one, our uh, critical facilities database, which I reported on last time as something that was in progress, is now completed. It's up and running, um, and uh, it works. Uh, we had uh, uh, not only the critical facility database up and running when we had the thunderstorms a few weeks ago, but we also had um, our uh, road opening process is now open for business as well. And simply put, what that means is Places like Long Hill Road, Zion Road, Montgomery, major arteries that are within a community that is, is, is critical to get them open as soon as possible for emergency vehicles, et cetera. And uh, so that was both of these programs are rolled out. And it was interesting that uh, it worked quite well here for Hillsboro. Uh, I did hear from John Sheridan. We did activate. We did get uh, both. I guess all roads were back open on the mountain for the exception of Montgomery, which I believe is we had multiple telephone Verizon poles that were broken. Mm -hmm. So we had to partner with Verizon to make sure those got set in a timely fashion and then got that out of restored. Um, the, the reason why I also wanted to make note of the critical facility process is that there is the um, Somerset County uh, emergency tower that's also on, I believe, Zion Road that uh, sure enough, I just said, well, gee, if that whole part of the mountain is out, let me go into the database. And sure enough, it listed the tower as being without power. So really, all that means is that when we get hit with a very significant event that's multiple days, we'll be able to run this report, provide it to the township, and be able to let you know to say, OK, these are the critical facilities that we're showing without power, and the projected restoration time is this date or this time. So that's, that's, that's significant. So I just wanted to share that with you. Very proud of these projects that have been over a year in the making to get them to where they are today. Um, but then also to stop and let you know about some work that we've been doing. And if you don't mind, I'd like to just read this as a press release that we uh, released actually this afternoon at about 3.30. So the timing was perfect to come before you this evening. Um, but this is uh, regarding JCPNL's Environmental Conservation Partnership 
help boost the American Kestrel population. Representatives from Jersey Central Power and Light, the New Jersey Audubon, and the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife recently banded four American Kestrel chicks at a nest box located on the South Branch Wildlife Management Area in Hillsborough, New Jersey. This marks the second consecutive year the three organizations have partnered to help boost the population of this threatened species. And this is, a, this is quote, uh, the American kestrel populations are experiencing long-term declines in North America, and in 2012 they were added to the list of threatened species in New Jersey, unquote, said John Park, steward, stewardship project director of New Jersey Audubon. Quote, with the help of New J JCPNL and the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife, these nest boxes provide a critical part of the recovery of North America's smallest falcon, unquote. The American kestrel population has declined primarily due to the fact of suitable habitat and scarcity of nesting sites. Last year, JCPNL worked with the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife to install these next, next nest boxes where two chicks ultimately were born. Quote, we are hopeful that our efforts at the South Branch Wildlife Management Area will contribute to the American kestrels being removed from the threatened, threatened species list, unquote, said Jim Fakel, president of JCPNL. Placing these next nesting boxes, I can't say that word tonight, are just a few of the ways JCPL employees contribute to the community that we serve. The, the bottom line is that we worked and began working with uh, the Audubon Society several years ago. Uh, I won't read the rest of it, but basically what we in fact did do is there were existing poles, wires, transformers that were on the site. And they were actually were posing quite a threat to the natural um, I didn't, I'm not a, a naturalist myself, but in essence, they were providing a, a, a perch for uh, certain types of, of wildlife that were providing an unfair advantage, if you will, and they were preying on other species that were in the grasslands. So we partnered with them, and by just doing a massive effort of removing multiple poles, many spans of wire, many transformers, uh, it allowed us to, in essence, help them to restore it to a much more natural setting. So I uh, just wanted to stop by tonight let you know that. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of Jersey Central for their efforts. And uh, that's it. If you had any questions? If not, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your evening. Great. No, thank you uh, for bringing that to our attention. Also, thank you. <clears throat> I think one of the biggest critiques of JCPL in the past was the lack of communication. I think that's certainly changed in the last few years, definitely since Hurricane Sandy. Uh, so the public knowledge is that if there's any power outage anywhere near our community, we'll get an email uh, almost immediately letting us know so that way we can communicate that back to the residents. So I want to thank you for that because I think that's gone a long way in uh, keeping that dialogue open. So we do appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. I'm sure my colleagues do as well. Great. So yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Any other comments uh, not on the agenda this evening? Seeing none, uh, moving on to public hearings. 2014-13, uh, an ordinance to mandate direct deposit for municipal employees of the Township of Hillsborough, effective August 1st, 2014, pursuant to NJSA 52-14-15F. As indicated when this ordinance was introduced, effective July 1st, 2014, New Jersey state law provides for a municipality to mandate employees to have direct deposit. This ordinance is in line with the new legislation. All full-time and part-time employees and elected officials are required to have direct deposit. If any employee or elected official would like to apply for an exemption, they must do so by writing to the CFO and administrator describing the hardship as to why they cannot have direct deposit. Temporary and seasonal employees are automatically exempt from this requirement. May have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2014-13. Move to open. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there any discussion from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, uh, we have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt Ordinance 2014-13. Motion to close and adopt the ordinance. Second. Roll call, please. Commander Delcor. Yes. Commander McCauley. Yes. Commander Sirachi. Yes. Mayor Mayor Bichette. Yes. Mayor Thompson. Yes. 2014-14, ordinance of uh, the Township of Hillsborough in the County of Somerset, New Jersey, providing for the implementation of the sanitary sewer extension project and other related expenses in and for the Township of Hillsborough and appropriating $1.65 Therefore, in providing for the issuance of $1,567,500 in bonds or notes of the Township of Hillsborough to finance the same and directing the special assessment of the cost thereof. The Township has applied for the potential funding for the sanitary sewer extension project and other related expenses in order to secure a lower interest rate for the property owners who would pay the special assessment, which the NJEIT funding would provide. 
In order to continue to move forward with this project while awaiting for the NJEIT approval, this buying ordinance would provide funding for engineering and legal work needed to design the sewer project, seek permit approvals, and prepare the specification and bid package for the sewer construction. We have a motion to open the public hearing on 2014-14. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All any opposed? Is there any discussion from the dais? Uh, Mayor, just to clarify a little bit on the EIT process, um, although it does not affect our ability to go forward with this uh, with this uh, ordinance, um, we are still waiting the final resolution on the EIT piece, which, as you note, uh, would create a uh, much lower borrowing rate for the for the special assessment. Uh, we do expect that uh, to be resolved and uh, notice given to us through the uh, through the state sometime in the month of August. Um, but in order to ensure that we can start the project on time and get uh, get uh, the groundwork going uh, later this fall, uh, we need to move forward on this uh, in advance of that final EIT approval. So uh, there's nothing that we, uh, at this point, is, uh, is problematic with that, but we do expect that to be resolved next month. Um, and uh, as, we, uh, as we've talked about in the past, this is really a, a function of trying to uh, do the sewer project uh, and also uh, get this done before uh, before the uh, weather turns in the in the winter. So, thank you. Any other comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? We have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt Ordinance 2014-14. So moved. Second. Pro call, please. Commander Zalcor. Yes. Mayor Woman McCauley. Yes. Mayor Mazzaracci? Yes. Deputy Mayor Bruchette? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Okay, moving on to introduction of new ordinances. 2014-15, an ordinance authorizing the Township of Hillsborough to transfer to the County of Somerset all rights, title, and interest in a property known as the Sourland Mountains Preserve, Block 171, Lot 81, with Green Acres restrictions pursuant to NJAC 7-36-25.5. Further considerations of this ordinance in public hearing will be held on August 26, 2014. According to municipal land use law, interest in land can only be effectuated via ordinance. This land, this land transfer of a 9.2 acre parcel in the Sourland Mountain Preserve from Hillsborough Township to Somerset County is at no cost to Hillsborough Township taxpayers. We have a motion to introduce this ordinance. So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Um, Mayor, two things. One, uh, this did get approved at the planning board, um, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, we had already, everyone knew we had gone through this already, and clearly it makes sense given uh, the county's in a better position to do that. Secondly, I just want to make sure for the record that the ordinance is clear. And I think we just have a bit of a disconnect this work because it's, I think in the heading it says 81, and in the other provisions it says 18. I just want to make sure which one. Okay. Make sure we're. It's lot 18. So the title of the ordinance was transcribed, but the um, body of the ordinance is correct. So we'll make just a, for the record. Just, just for the record, it is block 171, lot 18. Thank you. Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, uh, roll call. Committee Delcourt. Yes. Committee Woman McCauley. Yes. Committee Sirachi. Yes. Deputy Mayor Bruchette? Yes. And Mayor Thompson? Yes. Okay, moving on to considerations this evening. Uh, first up, consideration number one, resolution authorizing the mayor and the township clerk to execute a 2014-15 municipal alliance contract with the county of Somerset. This resolution authorizes the execution of the 2014-15 municipal alliance contracts. May I have a motion? So moved. A second. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Mayor Shep? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution number two, authorizing the hiring of Ronald A. Jubin as a part-time electrical inspector in the Township Building Department, effective July 23, 2014, at $28 an hour, not to exceed 29 hours per week. There exists, there exists a current vacancy in the positions of part-time electrical inspector. The construction official has recommended Mr. Ronald A. Jubin to fill that vacancy. Part-time employees do not incur the expense of benefits and are a valuable resource 
to Hillsborough Township. May I have a motion? So move. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Commissioner Zuckor? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Mayor Chef? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution number three, authorizing special item of revenue and appropriation. Hillsborough Township has received $147,322 in various grants. This resolution requests the director of the Division of Local Government Services to approve the insertion of these items of revenue in the budget for the 2014 in the amount listed in the resolution and previously mentioned. Grant money is always welcomed in Hillsborough, as everyone knows. May I have a motion? So move. Second. Any comments from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Ryan Zalcor? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. <coughs> Ryan Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Mayor Chef? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution number four authorizing the execution of a contract with VC land for the tub grinding of approximately 3,000 cubic yards of debris in an amount not to exceed $8,400. This contract is for our annual, uh, for our normal cleanup brush and debris removal. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Mayor Zalcor? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Deborah Mayor Bichette? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution uh, number five, authorizing the execution of a contract with 911 carding and septic for the Hillsborough Township Library pumping station repairs in an amount not to exceed $5,272. There's a sewer injection pit in the mechanical room that services a portion of, this, of the building, and as a result of not having the ability for a gravity feed into the sewer, the contract is for the repairs of equipment in that facility. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Permanent Al Court? Yes. Permanent Al Court? Yes. Vince Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Bichette? Abstain. And Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution number six, authorizing the Township Chief Financial Officer to execute the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust loan application for the 2014 Sanitary Sewer Extension Project. This resolution authorizes the CFO to execute the NGEIT load application on behalf of the township for the sanitary sewer extension project. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? From the floor? Seeing none, roll call. Ms. Alcor? Yes. Mayor yes. McCauley? <coughs> yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Chair Mayor Chef? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Resolution number seven, amending the 2014 road maintenance materials contract. This is just to correct an amount on the road maintenance materials contract that was transcribed incorrectly onto the annual contract. The amount was still the lowest bid and does not change the award of the actual contract. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? <laughs> Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Kevin Zalcor. Yes. Kevin McCauley. Yes. Kevin Sarachi. Yes. Cyber Mayor Bichette. Yes. Mayor Thompson. Yes. Moving on to the consent agenda this evening, we have a motion to approve the consent agenda. So, so move, Mayor. Second. Okay. Thank you. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Seeing none, roll call, please. Mayor Zalcor? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sarachi? Yes. Mayor Mayor Bichette? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. Moving on to the claims list, we have a motion to approve claims list 2014-13. So move. Second. Roll call, please. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. Mayor Sirachi? Yes. Mayor Mayor Shep? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. This concludes our regular meeting this evening. Um, we do have an executive session. Ms. Borak, please read the executive session resolution. Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances and whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist. Now, therefore, be resolved that Township Committee of Township of Hills around the County of Summer that say New Jersey as follows. Number one, the public shall be excluded from the discussion of the here and after specified subject matters. Number two, the general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows. Pending litigation, Township of Hillsborough versus Raw. Number two, pending litigation, Nelson's Corner Associates, LLC. Um, number uh, letter B personnel matters number one Robert Whippert DPW number three the Township Committee may take official action on those items discussed in the executive session upon the completion of the executive session number four the minutes of this discussion shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters under discussion are no longer of a confidential or sensitive nature number five this resolution should take effect immediately okay may I have a motion to approve so moved second roll call please 
Committeeman Delcor? Yes. Committeewoman McCauley? Yes. Committeeman Sirachi? Yes. Deputy Mayor Bichette? Yes. Mayor Thompson? Yes. We will now move into executive session. Thank you for coming this evening.